Okay, good afternoon everyone. In this ICT Basics video, I am going to cover um, price action based stops. Um, I've been having a great deal of difficulty uh, becoming a profitable day trader in part because of my suboptimal stop placement. So I'm going to give you a few different um, ICT patterns that I use and then tell you, uh, you know, the sort of stops. So guys, the very first price action based stop that you should always be aware of is an order block mean threshold stop. So wherever you see an order block, you've identified a candle as an order block. If you are, let's say for example, that you get, you're short in the market, you've shorted the market somewhere here and the market trades down. The very first price action based stop and I think kind of the go to stop if you have it available is right above the mean threshold of the order block. So as price trades down, you will end up placing your stop, Let's say that the mean threshold of that order block there is at 407 halves, uh, you, would put, you would place your stop at 407 three quarters. So one tick above the mean threshold of an order block. Sometimes you will get stopped out on that, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a pretty decent guess. Let's see if I can find some more examples. Um, Okay, you would have been stopped out on this, I think, by one tick. No, by 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 a point. Uh, you could have also used the candle body, but anyways, you would have been stopped out on this. You could have used a, a stop on your short at 325 spot 50, and then you would have had to re-enter the market. Uh, if you went short here, your stop could be at that uh, 317 spot 75. Or if you take these three candles as an order block, you could put your stop there just above the mean threshold of those three candles. So as you can see, guys, let me see if I can find some more examples. These two candles, these became an order block, or you can use this candle as a five minute order block. Your stop, if you go long in here, let's say that you identify this as a bullish breaker. Uh, you take these two, two candles, 10 minute order block, and you place your stop at 69 at 70 evens yeah 70 70 evens um, or you could take this five minute candle call that a five minute order block and put your stop in at, at 58 spot 75 um, so that those are order block mean threshold stops let's say for example that you thought right now the market's about to obviously the futures market is about to close but let's say for example that you think the market is drying up to buy side liquidity you just enter long at the market there's our order block right there you place your stop in it at, at uh, 198 spot 50 and yeah sometimes this is going to be a lot of points like so like right here this is 15 points sometimes it might be 20 30 points there's really no way to avoid that i found that you've got to use price action based stops i've tried to use flat stops they don't work so well so guys the very first stop is just going to be the order block mean threshold stop wherever you find an order block could be at the bottom of a swing so like a mean threshold of a market structure shift you place your stop there uh, so let's say for example you get long here use that as a five minute order block right there that black candle you do end up getting stopped out so if you wanted to make money there you would have you would have had to have taken taken contracts off now guys the advantages of using an order block as your stop versus uh, just putting it above an old high or an old low is if you get stopped out when the market sweeps an old high or an old low uh, you are going to have slippage uh, whereas you really won't have slippage if you're taking a stop in the middle of price action. I hope that makes sense. You have more slippage out here in liquidity land than you do in, uh, in a retracement in price action. I hope that makes sense. So order block mean threshold is your first sort of price action based stop. Now let's talk about the fair value gap stop. So let's say, for example, that you're looking at a fair value gap. Um, and you want to you want to take a stop, or you want to you want to know where to put your stop. I would recommend one tick above. Let's say if it's sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, you're playing that one tick above the low of the candle of the first candle. So this low right here would be 259.50, and then your stop would be 259 spot 75. And you can see here that if you played this five minute sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, you would never have been tagged out on that. Now sometimes you will be tagged out, but 
Again, I'm just trying to give you some price action based stop ideas. My favorite is definitely the order block mean threshold. Um, the next one, uh, let's see if we can find a buy side inbound sell side efficiency. So right here, your stop would go, if you're using a buy side inbound sell side inefficiency or a BISI, fair value gap, your stop would go uh, the high of that candle, so 171 spot 75. And you can see you did not get stopped out. Okay, so you were you were close, but you did not get stopped out. So if you're using a buy side inbound sell side inefficiency, look at the first candle. All right, guys, let's talk about a uh, inverted fair value gap, an inverted fair value gap stop. So inverted fair value gap, guys. Um, right here, for example, you're using an inverted fair value gap. So this buy set amount, sell set efficiency is price trades lower. Your stop would go one tick above the low of that candle, so it would be a 371 evens. If you're using an inverted fair value gap, it's the same principle as with a normal fair value gap. Uh, you're just you're just using the inverted version. Um, the final price action based stop. So we've talked through order block mean threshold. We've talked through fair value gap and inverted fair value gap uh, stop placements. Um, let's talk about a long wick. So guys, if you have a very long wick, you can use the consequent encroachment of that wick as a stop here. You would be stopped out. That's another price action based idea. Uh, you can use that as a stop as well. So uh, just below one tick below the consequent encroachment of a wick is another idea to, to put in a stop. Um, and that's about it guys. Uh, Remember that you're going to have, if you have a breaker block, you're going to have an order block. Uh, you're going to have an order block within the breaker block. So I'll just give you the three. price action based stops. So anyways guys just to recap in this video we covered price action based stops that you can use and you can trail down with the market. My favorite is the order block mean threshold. Uh, I also went over how you would place it on, on a fair value gap or an inverted fair value gap and then I also mentioned that you can use the consequent encroachment of a wick. Um, guys if you use price action based stops along with your risk management so trading the micro NASDAQ trading the right amount of contracts not being an idiot like me and over leveraging uh, you should be fine yeah like I said the flat 20 point stop just didn't work for me so here's some price action based stop ideas bye bye